Protect your ears for this one. So this one is called the El Pistolero 4231. The main image of this tactic on the Steam Workshop where I got this from is, of course, Luis Suarez. So we all know his style of play tends to be a little bit bitey. But, of course, I'm a Suarez fan to a degree. Always hated that issue, but absolutely amazing player. No question about it, especially loved him at Liverpool. But this tactic was tested with Manchester City. It looks like Erling Holland only got... 25 goals if I'm reading that correctly, but this does say in the as the only description golden ball guaranteed for your attacker tons of goals. So we are going to see how it does with our three teams of Liverpool and Aston Villa in the Premier League and our championship side of Ipswich Town. Again, our Erling Holland with only 25 goals seems interesting. Yet if you look at one of the screenshots that they sent, if I'm reading this correctly, it's the best three players for FIFA in the entire world. They are on Man City, they are Erling Holland, Bernardo Silva, and Kevin De Bruyne. So, we're going to see if any of our teams can get anywhere near that. Highly doubt it, but still we'll check. But let's just jump into the Premier League and see how our teams did. Well, as we check out the Premier League, you can see Liverpool with 95 points, Aston Villa with 82, definitely both above average. Aston Villa just slightly, they're usually about 77 points, so... Overall, it looks fantastic. 120 goals for Liverpool is through the roof. 86 for Aston Villa. We've seen better, but still pretty nice. Well, a fantastic run through the domestic cups. Carabao Cup final 3-0 over Leeds. Unfortunately, you get past Aston Villa there in the semifinals of the FA Cup 2-0. You do lose out to Ipswich Town in the FA Cup final, though. Ipswich Town gets a trophy. But only a single blemish in the Europa League. You get to the final and you beat Feyenoord absolutely thrashing them 6-1. to one. So overall, a fantastic season for Liverpool. Two cups, a runner-up, and a Premier League trophy. Yeah, this worked well. And as we take a look at Liverpool's squad, this is the green that I'm expecting usually. 46 goals for Nunez is through the roof. 24 for Salah. Assist 35 for Robertson. 20 for Trent. We've got some record breakers here. 755 for Robertson. Insane. Let us check out Aston Villa, though, this time around. Carabao Cup fourth round, losing out to Manchester City, nil one. Not a bad scoreline, but at home, eh, I guess. Semifinals we saw already nil two against Liverpool. Europa Conference League, again, one single blemish, one draw, and then you get to the final and a 2 nil win over Maccabi Tel Aviv. So overall, third place, pretty nice, no question about it. Winners of the Conference League is fantastic. Knocked out in the semis of the FA Cup is not bad. Carabao Cup, though, yeah, you could have done better. But overall, how did they do squad-wise? 39 goals for Ollie Watkins. Crazy. 18 for Jacob Ramsey. Assists, 17 for Ramsey. Douglas Lewis with 14. And an average rating of 749 for Ramsey. Moreno with a 748. Definitely one of some of the highest we've seen. Data Hub looking at the two teams. Liverpool clearly looking like it was just an absolute field day for them. Attacking wise, you've got dribbles in there. Defending wise as well, insane. Tackling percentages down uh, and fouls per game, yeah. But goals per game 3.16 and 0.61 conceded, 0.76 XG against. This really worked. And of course, I mean, 111 clear cut chances, one every half hour almost. And Aston Villa, the only thing they're missing is the goals per game. Defensively, not too bad. Not quite as good as Liverpool, but still overall through the roof. 2.26 goals per game, 1.05 conceded, 1.21 XG against. And a plus 76 clear-cut chances, one every 38 minutes. Premier League stats, Liverpool with 2.5 points per game. Very well done. 2.16 for Aston Villa. Most goals, 120 for Liverpool. Now we have seen higher for them, but this is still a pretty nice amount. Aston Villa with 86. Fewest shots against Liverpool with 245. Aston Villa with 327. Most possession, Liverpool with 54%. Most dribbles made, Liverpool with 712. Aston Villa with 678. And most shots for Liverpool getting somewhat close to that 700 mark, but not really close enough. But 646 for Aston Villa is pretty nice. But now we already know Ipswich Town in the championship has one trophy somehow. Did they get a second? Well, yes, they did. Tops of the league, the championship, 115 points, 130 goals is pretty phenomenal. Domestically, out in the Carabao Cup, third round against Blackburn. But look at this. You beat Watford and Wigan. Okay, Newcastle, 3-1. to one. Tottenham in penalties. Arsenal 4-2, and then Liverpool 3-0 in the final. That is an insane run right there. Ipswich Town coming away with trophy number two. 
So overall, an absolutely fantastic season. Two trophies is amazing. Care about cup, whatever. And squad wise, still, I mean, a more grain than they expect or that we usually get, but still, you'd expect a little more. I would expect a little more. 22 goals for Connor Chaplin. Where is Hurst? All the way down here with only two. Assist 23 for Leaf Davis, so he's up there. And a 7 6 nil for him is average rating. So, championship stats. You get Ipswich Town in first with. Just like Liverpool, a 2.5 points per game. Most goals in first with 130 clear front runners over Norwich. Fewer shots against with 286 in first. Most possession with 55%. Most dribbles made in fifth with 841. And most shots for with 822. So let us dive into this ear biting tactic itself. Sweeper keeper in defend is where we start. Fullbacks on the left and the right in attack. Ball playing defenders in the central spots. Two DMs in support. Two inside forwards on both sides support, attacking midfielder in attack, and then an advanced forward in attack up front. Attacking mentality, in possession, attacking with his narrow, approach play, pass into space, focus play down the left and the right, passing directness is shorter, tempo is higher, low crosses and run at defense. In transition, counter press counter, distribute quickly and roll it out. And then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a much higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent your goalkeeper distribution, get stuck in, step up more, and invite crosses. But now, how did this do for our three teams? I won't say this is the best tactic, the best save we've seen. We've seen higher. I mean, maybe not in the, probably some in the points tally, definitely in the goals. We've seen more attacking tactics than this. But overall, this worked phenomenally. I mean, Ipswich Town getting not just one trophy, but two, that is something we don't see every day. And if we look at Aston Villa and Liverpool, I mean, clearly doing a fantastic job themselves. 82 points, a little bit higher than their usual of a 77 or so. Liverpool's 95 is about 10 higher. So again, we've seen better saves than this, where they've gotten more points, they've gotten more goals. But overall, I think the amount of trophies that we've gotten all in this save is a phenomenal amount. So with that said, I would definitely suggest taking a look at this, filling your players in where you can and getting new players as you see fit. But overall, definitely check it out. But that's it for me, Savvy FM, for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.